Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be showing you how to create these cool lights and stairs in Revit. So this is usually done just by placing an LED strip on the bottom part of your thread and we're pretty much going to do the same thing in Revit. This will be basically a three-part series or three-part tutorial. First I'm going to create the actual light source family, then I'm going to nest that inside of a line-based family which will then host on top of our stair in project in Revit. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make videos like these every day. And if you're interested in any more tutorials on either stairs in Revit or lights in Revit, I left links on those two topics in the description of this video, so you can check it out after you watch this. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit, so I'm just going to go to New Family. And I'm going to step back a bit and go into English Metric. I prefer using the metric system. And here I'm just going to find the generic light source. So let's just find that. Metric Lighting Fixture. Okay, that's, that's the one. Or Lighting Fixture if you're using Imperial. And now I'm just going to jump into Front View. And here, this is basically the plane on which the light source is hosted, and this yellow circle is the light source. So I'm just going to pull it down underneath our reference level. And here, for this distance, I'm just going to go 10 millimeters. That's it. Then I'm going to go here to Family Types, and I'm just going to change a couple of parameters for this parametrics. This light is actually too strong for what we need it to do, so I'm just going to come here and put it at 300 or you can use even 250 but I'm just going to use 300 for this one and go OK, apply, OK so now the light is not that bright it will look nice and now I just like to go to reference level and we need to create something that we can move around that we can use because this actual light source you probably won't be able to see in Revit or in the Revit project so you need to create some geometry, so I just like to create some small extrusion, usually a circle just in the middle, yeah, and let's make it 3 millimeters diameter, and I'm just going to go to front elevation, hit here OK, and then I'm just going to reduce it here, something like that, and for the material I like to use something invisible, so I'll, I usually go for air, and then just load in air material, go apply okay so you can see this when you're actually manipulating your model but when you create a rendering you won't be able to see this air okay now let's create our line basically line hosted family so I'm going to go here to new family again jump back go to metric and I'm going to try to find generic line based okay so I'm going to use this one and here you can see you have this parameter for length I'm just going to make it smaller Let's make it a thousand millimeters, go OK. And this is basically the line on which our families can be hosted. So our light sources will be hosted on this and then it will look just like an LED strip, just a bunch of small lights next to each other in a line. So I'm just going to go here to close hidden windows, open up this family one and go load into project. And here I'm just going to place it like so over here and then using the align tool I'm just going to align it to this here wait a minute yeah and lock it in place then align it to this line lock it in place okay now when it's locked in place we can select it and we can create an array so just type in AR or hit here array I'm going to be using a linear array and for the number I'm just going to go with 6 for now and here you need to select last now you just select the midpoint of your light source and just place it anywhere kind of further down the line. And now using the align tool I just like to align it here to the end and lock it in place and again lock it to the actual line for the line based family. Ok once that's all locked in place you go here to family types to set up your parameters and now we need just a parameter for this array. And when you select just one of these lights, you can see here we have this 
array dimension and if we open up this label we can add a parameter. So I'm just going to call it number of lights and hit OK and let's make it an instance parameter and I'll go here to family types and here for a number of lights I'm going to use this length dimension so I'm just going to create a simple formula and make sure that you type in L as with gaps because it's gap sensitive so I'm just going to go length and I'm going to divide that by I don't know like 10 and then go apply so or sorry a hundred and go apply so we have now 10 lights for a thousand and if we had 1200 then we'll have here 12 lights so just go apply okay so when you stretch this line it will add more lights inside okay once that's done we can go into a Revit project so just go new project I'm going to be using an architectural template okay and here let's just create the stair so I'm going to go here to the stair command and for the stair I'm going to be using this private stair and let's just create a simple stair like so go OK just let's delete this I don't like it and let's go into 3D so here we have just a typical residential staircase and I'm just going to select it and you can see here we have our risers and our treads but because our basically LED LED track will be somewhere over here we won't be able to see it from this riser so we need to delete this riser and to do so just go into edit type and here for the stair you can see run type and you can go here and edit it and here just for the riser uncheck it go apply ok apply ok and you can see it disappeared and if we turn on the shadows you can see it's kinda now you can see it through the staircase and now we can add our family so I'm just going to go back to level 1 again here hit close hidden windows open this up and go for family 2 that's this LED LED line family or LED strip family and load it into project I'm going to choose project 1 and here you can see it's kinda hosted on face so I'm just going to host it on this face for this for the moment and just extend it because you create it as a line and place it like that now I'm just going to go to modify select this go into south elevation and you can see it here and then I'm just going to move this family from here to the bottom of the thread and now you can see here our little LED lights and let's just move this to the side here and to the side here maybe move it a bit here okay now we can go into east elevation for example turn on this wireframe and you can see here is our LED strip and let's just copy it over all the stairs And now before we turn this on and see how it looks like in a rendering we need to just jump back here to family 1 and here you need to check this shared box and that allows this light source to be shared to other families in which this is nested and I'll go load into project choose family 2 open it up override and again for this family 2 or this LED strip again check shared go apply load into project again project 1 ok and then override everything so now we'll be able to see the actual light and now I'm just going to go back into level 1 create a camera place it like so yeah that looks about right and then let's just type in double R for rendering let's go for medium and here for the lighting I'm just going to go interior artificial only and go render
and there you go now we have this amazing looking LED strip light effect in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions suggestions comments leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day